welcome to my channel and today I'm going to talk to you guys about Tot Labs language bundle this is something that Yulia from welcome to mommyhood and I have created together we are super excited that it's finally ready and it's a worldwide PDF meaning that wherever you are you can go on to my Tot Labs store and just download it And in this video today, I'm going to talk to you guys in details about the contents of the curriculum, how you guys can present these activities to your children and everything in between. So I guess without much ado, let's just get started. All right, so let's have a closer look at the Montessori language bundle. It starts with a cute little message from Yulia and me. And then it talks about the scope and sequence of Montessori language. And then here you have all that is included in the bundle. The first thing that the bundle has is the sequencing card. So here we have 12 sets of sequencing cards. I'm going to show you one example here. So each card comes with a control card and then you have your set of cards and the child basically has to sequence them. And uh, this is a great work to encourage the development of important skills such as logic, sequence of events, chronological order. So here we have the I Spy mats. Okay, there are five mats, A through Z, and each of them have realistic images of animals so it makes the work really inviting and there are a couple of ways you can play this game so the first one is um you know you ask your child i spy with my little eye something that starts with ah ah so he'll say alligator he can either point out or you can you know give them some kind of manipulatives or tokens and they can just place it okay so that's one way my son likes to play it reverse so he will say you know i spy with my little eye and i have to find out the animals so see what really works for your child make the lessons fun keep it really hands-on and um, you know just make sure the child is really enjoying the work one more thing that you can do is um, have the letter cutouts if you don't have these cutouts you can even use magnetic letters okay so uh, you can make do with whatever you have at home you if you don't have magnetic letters you can just write down letters on small piece of paper and ask your child to match okay so can you match letter a with something that starts with a ah. so they'll match letter a to alligator k -k cat so on and so forth and then here you can also play the sound games okay so basically can you tell me what animal starts with say let us sound b b so that's that i spy with my little eye something for fox something for fo fox i spy with my little eye something b b bat i spy with my little eye something k k K -k um cat? Yes. Okay. I spy with my little eye something. Eh, eh. Eh, eh, um, dog? This. Elephant. Yes. Alright. I spy with my little eye do dog. Dog. Third work is Montessori rhyming clip cards. All right, so here we have 24 rhyming clip cards and they come in two levels of difficulty. So the first one has just two images. Okay, so snake, so cake. So the child has to clip the right word, which is rhyming to this word here. So they'll either clip it or you can use manipulatives or counters and the child can just Put it on the correct answer and the second level is where instead of two images we have three images so chair pair hat 
cup. So clipping the right answer, chair, pair, or the child can put a counter on the right answer. And then we start with our pink series printables, okay? And this begins with the pink series word cards. I'm gonna just show you um, how you can use these word cards. Basically, you can read them out phonetically. So you read and then your child reads. And you can start with one or two words to begin with. You can also ask your child to trace the letters uh, say on a sand tray or a salt tray you can also write the letters for your child say on a chalkboard or a piece of paper and of course you can ask your child to build the words using your movable alphabets or your letter cutouts or even your magnetic letters again one more thing that you can do with this is ask your child to find the objects around the house that represents the words so say bag so ask your child to find a bag in your house and match the words to those objects so you can write you know on a piece of paper the word bag and ask your child to label an actual bag then you have the pink series word and image cards and uh, here there are 40 pink series picture to word matching cards in black and 40 pink series picture to word matching cards in red and blue. So basically have your child match the images to the written words. You can also ask your child to find objects from around the house or your surrounding or in a book that represent the written words. So for example, fan. So ask your child to go and point at the fan and then you know reiterate the word they can label that object okay so there are a lot of ways you can make it a really fun hands-on lesson and as always you can even use your movable alphabets or your letter cutouts to um, you know make these words here you have wobbles which you can individually cut the wobbles are in blue as well as black and the child basically has to sort the image cards based on the wobbles Next, we have write the first letter. These are the pink series beginning sound writing cards. You have 10 of these, so 40 words in total. And you can laminate these if you want a child to use them with dry erase marker or Play-Doh. Uh, but if you intend your child to write on these with say a pencil, a crayon, or a pen, do not laminate, okay? And um, so basically, and so the child has to write letter A ah here. You can also use your letter cutouts or movable alphabets to fill the space in. Okay, so there are again a lot of different ways you can use these cards. And then here again we have the beginning as well as the ending sound clip cards. So start with the beginning sounds first. So pan, so they can either you know use a peg to clip, letter p, or they can place a counter okay similarly not so they can put a peg here or place a counter and here we have the ending sound so jug so they can clip the letter g or they can put a counter here similarly van so they can clip it or they can put a counter Ritu, what letter does bug start with? B. That's correct. What letter does rug start with? God bless you. Rug. Okay. What letter does sun start with? Sun. we have 40 of the pink series three part cards and basically you present them separately on a tray or a bowl and then have your child match the card with just the image to its corresponding label so basically the child is matching the image card to the label card 
and then they are going to match the card with both the image and the word which is your control card to these two so this way the child is checking his work due to the control card next we have the pink series readers and these come in three levels so you have your level one with the pictures then you have level two without the pictures and lastly you have level three with numerals so what does it say pot Red. And then lastly, we also have side cards so you can just read these out to your child and these are something that you cannot phonetically decode so the child has to just learn them by heart uh, by sight okay so um, a lot of moms have requested me uh, about how to sound each individual letter so I'm gonna quickly share that to you in this video okay so ah, ah, b, b, k, k, d, d, e, e, f, f, g, The bundle also has a full list of phonograms which forms a part of the green series so basically this is a preview of it and all the instructions on how you can use this is in the bundle. This Montessori language bundle is priced at $8 or 540 Indian rupees and basically I have created this into two versions so that you can comfortably and conveniently download it no matter where you are across the world. So if you are in India, you can just download it and pay in Indian rupees via Instamojo. If you are from outside India, I have another international link for you guys so you can directly pay in dollars. So I hope that really helps. I'll put down all the links in the description box below along with all the other details. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any more queries, please leave them below as comments and I will answer them. And I'll see you guys around. Until then, bye.